Hey guys, a warm welcome to, so this is part three, where we're talking about trading with better discipline and emotional control. We've talked about having an environment that's conducive to trading, that's an easy win to kind of reduce those negative emotions that you potentially could get. We talked about uh, analyzing yourself, putting together a trading plan, not going into too much depth with that, separate videos that go into each of those topics if you're interested in that. This is kind of keeping things broad, keeping things concise, keeping things quick fire and rolling so that you can kind of get a feel for the way that I look at things and you can either take stuff away from it or not uh, as it suits you hopefully you do find a few things that are useful to you if you do then the thumbs ups appreciate all right so a constant emotional assessment we've got this kind of cycle here if you like that we want to be doing all the time to make sure that we're trading with better emotional control because as we alluded to in the first video guys a lack of him uh, sorry a lack of discipline always comes from extreme emotion. So when we're extremely angry, extremely frustrated, extremely greedy, all those things, that's when the lack of discipline comes in. So the key to fixing our discipline is to monitor and, a, and a keep an eye on our emotions when we're trading. We're not stifling them, we're not kind of shove them into a box and lock away the key. We're harnessing them, but we're recognizing when they go a bit crazy and go a bit wild. All right, so constant emotional assessment. If we look at this as a permanent loop, but we start over here at awareness. So we need to know what are the potential triggers for emotion. And emotion I'm kind of putting here as a, from a negative connotation here, which is, isn't always, but in this case, when we're breaking rules, it generally is. So what are the potential triggers? Is it when you miss moves? Is it when you have a string of losers? Is it when you have a string of winners? Is it when you kind of come to the screen late? Is it when, what is it? There's always going to be something that, again, just triggers that little emotion in you, heightens it up, and maybe gives it a little bit more clout over your decision making than you would like. So the awareness of what that is. Then we move on over to recognize. And recognize is spotting the warning signs that that emotion has become heightened. So we're looking at the awareness and knowing the potential triggers, okay? So we're warned and we're cautious of that. Now we're looking at recognizing the warning signs that emotions are heightened. Maybe that's physically. Maybe we're kind of pushing forward in the seat. Maybe we're kind of, uh, you know, a little bit more nervous. Maybe you're bite, what, someone who bites your nails. Maybe you're someone who, who's kind of physically doing something, scrunching up your face, something like that. Maybe that's a trigger that you can look at from a physiological perspective that says, hey, you know what, you are experiencing this emotion. Whoa, easy, easy there. Just be careful. This is when damage is done. Maybe it's a trade. Maybe you're kind of uh, opening your broker account more often than you should. Maybe you're bringing up different types of markets out of frustration because you miss one. Maybe you're upping your position size on the ticket, getting ready. Maybe you're flipping your mind from long to short. Whatever that may be, there will be something there that you need to recognize to spot that warning sign. And then we move over to evaluate. So evaluate, we're reducing that emotional impact. We're deciding on how we want to reduce that emotional impact. This is so, so important. So you know, whatever that may be is we want to completely, oh, we're never going to completely eliminate, but we want to really dial back how much impact that emotion has on our trading. So what do we need to do? So this ties in quite nicely with, with taking action. So we evaluated and said, okay, well, if we, if we actually recognize that emotion and we're kind of scrunched up our face, whether it's physio physiological, whether we're kind of making a couple of trades that we shouldn't have done, evaluate what we need to do. That probably is going to be step away from the screen that probably is going to be relax a little bit that probably is going to be make sure you just go back to one market now you know we don't have to always go in extreme and hopefully we can catch the emotions before they go extreme extreme would be get away from the screen don't do any more damage but maybe you might recognize that you're a little bit more frustrated you're just starting and this is the kind of sweet spot when you're starting to recognize that then you go okay lean back a little bit in the chair Put up one market and run through from start to finish. Look at the daily, look at your 60 minute, look at your whatever, whatever your process is, just start your process again. Reset things and see if that helps. So it's evaluating it and the action is what needs to be done to get back in the zone. Whether it is something as extreme as leaving for the day, going for a walk for five minutes, or like I say, running through the charts, running through the things that you need to do to reset yourself. This is the kind of constant cycle awareness. So recognizing and knowing the potential 
little triggers that you have, what that could be. And that's worth looking back at your other trades for guys, because that'll give you a good hint. Recognizing uh, the warning signs that your emotions are heightened. So the triggers for the emotions and then recognizing what actually happens to you, whether it's a trade, whether it's the way, again, you hold yourself or whatever it may be. Evaluating on and, 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 and looking at the action. So deciding on what you're going to do to reduce that and then actually doing it. So deciding, hey, I'm going to kind of minimize the screens and do this. I'm going to go for a walk. All those things are talked about and then actually doing it. All right, guys, part four coming up. We're going to some more depth and we keep on this rolling train where we are looking to trade with better discipline and better emotional control, or more discipline and better emotional control. If you're liking it so far, thumbs up, appreciate it. Comments in the comment section below. Appreciate your support, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.